Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hello again. Uh, please, could you turn off the, the sound because uh, I will show. Yeah, I will show some movie, and I did not check any comments we did during the, the printing, so it would be better to turn it off. Or yeah, yeah, okay. Uh. Oh, just do it like yes. this. Okay. That's yes. okay. Yes. And next time I will check the sound on the video. Okay. So, hello again. Uh, I won't talk about uh, software, but uh, I will present some results uh, we have with subtractive process technology we have, we have developed for Encon. Uh, the objectives were quite simple, but not so easy to, to achieve. Objective was to be able to realize some polishing action, some milling action, also some drilling action, and if possible, some engraving. Uh, so for that, we had to move some, some cutting tools, some tools on the, on the robot. Uh, we had to do the mechanical integration, of course, but also to do the software integration and try to realize what is doable uh, with normal robot, try to do this with a cable robot and uh, arm manipulator mounted on. We still have the same constraints that in my pre previous uh, presentation. So the weight, the weight is uh, very important because uh, arm manipulator is not able to apply such a big effort. And when you want, when you want to apply, uh, for example, uh, 20 kilograms of pressure with our manipulator, but, well, you, you need a big robot. So this constraint is very important, the weight that we had the possibility to unbend. Another uh, constraint, uh, other constraint was rigidity, but also stability of the robot and repeatability. And fixation was not uh, the main problem. So we made many trials in order to be able to, to decide what could be uh, the best robot fitting with our project. So uh, a light robot, but able to apply uh, some forces uh, that could work also mounted on the cable robot. So we had to make uh, many, many preliminary trials uh, with big robot, with many type of, uh, of tools, how to mount the tools on the robot, etc., etc., uh, in order to be able to specify what would be the maximum load to be applied, uh, what could be the tool we could use, etc. So it took us a long time. We also made. Uh, here, a simulation of what could be a cable robot and having some vibration when you are working on the, on the system. And finally, we will build this. So a small robot, it's a KRDIS from KUKA. It, the weight is something like uh, 50 kilogram. Yes, 50 kilogram. Uh, also with a small controller, when you are using our manipulator, you have also to embed some electronics and we have to adapt the electronics to the environment, to the dust, etc. So we also work on the protection of the control cabinet. Uh, we improve the cooling and well, we made different, uh, different testing in order to reach the objectives uh, of the project. And also we, we try to use a vacuum cleaning system in order to avoid having to too much dust during trials. And now some results. Uh, we use a new material to do the printing, and this material, uh, as you saw on, on some movies, uh, well, is really perfect when you want to do some 3D printing, but after that, you have, when you want to do some sub subtractive task on it, uh, this material is not such an easy material. And you could have some surprise if you try to apply some vibration, it could become, become liquid again, and well, this type of problem. So at the end, the, the conclusion is that we have to work between three and six hours of, uh, after the deposit of the, of the concrete. Uh, 
And then using a classical tool for polishing uh, concrete, you can get the result you have on the right. We can have much better results. This is the first three hours, and we stop it before the end. Uh, but at least you can imagine we have something not so bad, and I, I will sh show you some movies after that. So, well, we, uh, at the end, after the three hours, we have the sweeping strategy, how to polish uh, the surface, we have the number of hours we have to wait before working and the number of hours we, we can use to, to, to do the job. And, and finally, we, we got some success because the result is, is really not so bad. Maybe not on this picture, but I will show you, show you more. And here, this is the, the first time we, we try our, our controller and our strategies. Uh, I will show you at the end of the presentation only one slide to explain that uh, to, to do this job, we also have to implement a specific controller. It's a force control uh, in order to avoid um, having too high pressure when you try to polish or when you try to mill or when you try to drill, etc., to avoid to break the structure and also to avoid to break the robot or to break the tool, etc. So there is a force controller and you just define the task you would like to, to, to do, polishing. You give the surface on which you want to work and then you just push the, the run button and, and it works without uh, any other control. So I don't know if I can. So no, maybe I will. For a little. I think the best part is at the end. So as you can see, it's running and it's removing concrete. And from a very rough surface, in one or two way, we can get already some clean surface, but it's just a flat surface. It's not something more complex. That's for polishing. And then we try to do the same, but for milling, because it's okay to, to be able to polish a flat surface, but uh, sometimes if you want to do some pretty 3D printing, then you will, be, you will have to work maybe on not only flat surface. And so you have to adapt and you have to find the tool to be able to, to, to get this type of result. So we try to apply also some milling with specific tool uh, without diamond, but uh, with, uh, with carbide uh, add on, on the tool. We developed also the sweeping strategy to be able to, to, to get the flat surface or the shape corner. We made some trials and maybe it's a surprise, but we got also some success. And, uh, and finally, the, the result is, is really no, not so bad. I have also movies I, I, will, I will show you. Now. Okay. Uh, on these movies, we are close to the part. And with a white t-shirt, it's me. Uh, I have the, the, the tool to control the robot, but in fact, I'm not controlling the robot. I'm just there in case of problem because it was during the first three years. And you can see that if we are working between three and six hours uh, after uh, building the part, we can very easily remove some concrete. So this, conc this concrete is very wonderful to, to work with. And, and we can get this type of surface. Then after that, we can engrave and we can do many things on it. You can make a movie, but we have a movie also if you want. And uh, on the website, there will be a nice movie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's all for the movie. And then we tried also to do some engravement on the concrete to write uh, to write uh, something with different uh, different type of, of writing. Always the same constraints coming from the concrete. Well, it's three and six hours. In fact, we tried also to do it up to eight hours, but. Uh, for operational reason, if you want to use uh, some low-cost tools and this type of fix, it's much better to work between three and six hours. And once again, we were very surprised, but we got some results and we were able to write something on the structure. I don't know if there is a, a movie. Yes. Uh, 
and it works. So it's just writing. We are able to write something. Uh, we can also adapt the, the depth of uh, what we are writing so that we can have some uh, some contrast, different, some different contrast. And, and the next step is, uh, as I mentioned in my previous presentation, uh, we are going to do some engravement of, of pictures. So you take the pictures and you are able to grave on, on to engrave some, some pictures on the concrete. We are also able to drill some holes, big, small, using the milling tool, using uh, some drilling tool, different, uh, different size. Uh, the only thing we did not have time to, to try up to now is from this hole uh, is to start doing some non-roundish shape and try to, to do something, uh, well, to, 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 to make some opening in the structure. Not only, not only a circle, not only a basic disc, but uh, be able to do like a pass, like a way. And that's the slide because uh, we are doing so software, so it was just to show that we are able to do also some software. Uh, as I explained earlier, to do all these things, we had to implement some force controller. Otherwise, we, we could have many problems. We could break the tool, we could break the robot, we could break many things. And the, the next step also will be to try to, we already have integrated some accurate positioning measurement, measurement system in the loop. Uh, and the next step is try to, to connect everything and to do the, the positioning correction, to do the force control, etc., etc. And that's all for me.